the gas fields of Western Canada, the major source of all natural gas used in North America. When demand hits, the engines at these pumping and compression stations have to be ready to send gas down the pipeline. This facility basically is a production and storage facility. We uh, produce gas in the wintertime into our pipeline system and in the summertime we turn around and we inject gas back into the wells. Transgas Limited in western Saskatchewan, like most gas compression stations, faces many challenges from the cold air and brisk winds of the Canadian prairie. We've got one 16-cylinder white uh, uh, Waukesha and we have two portable cat engines, whatever, that are mounted on trailers. One of the biggest challenges is getting the engines to start in very cold temperatures. Cold oil becomes thicker and heavier. If the oil preheater is down, heavier yet. Basically, if it's cold, whatever the block's cold, all the parts are cold, uh, the oil's thick. We're using 40 weight oil on those engines, so they're really hard to roll over when they're actually cold and, and stiff. Oftentimes, there's too much drag and not enough power being generated to make the engine fire. You got to make at least 50 RPM or whatever to get, get the ignition to even start. When greater drag is causing slow turning of the engine, you need more starter cranking power for it to fire. To help get more starting power, Transgas called in Texacana Turbines, a leading engine services and field support company out of Calgary, Alberta, who recommended TDI Turbo Twin Air Starters. In this case here, we wanted to save them you know, gas on quicker start times, better efficiency, better reliability. So we're able to do that by installing the starters on here. The air motors do the same thing. We get away from some older technology, get into a motor that is more today's technology. TDI Turbo Twins generate the most cranking power per cubic foot of air used. And unlike obsolete vane type starters, electric starters, and batteries, TDI Turbo Twins starter output is never affected by temperature. We had some problems with starters, whatever. We weren't actually making enough RPM on the 16-cylinder white to actually make it fire in the wintertime all the time. So we put in uh, two new TDI starters on it, and we increased the roll and roll over on the engine uh, to start, whatever, probably by 15 RPM. So uh, it made quite a difference as far as starting that unit when it's cold. And we did the exact same thing with the walk shop. Uh, always had a problem, whatever, depending on if it was cold, you always had to preheat the oil in the winter time. And if you actually had uh, the heater wasn't up to snuff or whatever, or somebody didn't turn it on, you couldn't get the walk shot going because you could never make the RPMs to get the ignition on. We changed them all with a different style of starter, the TDI starters, and we were making probably 70, 75 RPM. Made, made a world of difference. If the cold weather is stopping your engine from starting, demand a tougher, more powerful starter. Choose TDI Turbo Twin. It's the extra horsepower you'll need to assure your engine is always available, no matter how cold it gets.